can't use our traditional 2D sonar here because we're only fishing three to seven feet of water. So we're using our mega imaging, our side imaging, and this is just incredible. The detail I can get, I'm scanning out 250 feet. I could actually see the head and the tail of the fish. I know they're on the starboard side of the boat. So I'm gonna pitch this bait 30 feet and I'm literally gonna put it right in front of their face. We're using a 2D chirp sonar, and the chirp does two things. It gives us great target separation, so we can actually mark individual fish. Um, it also gives us great detail. This is our bait right here, and I'll show you. I'll move my rod up and down. You can actually see my bait moving up and down as I do that. It's pretty cool. Out here we're checking out our charts here and I got a rough idea of how where these fish hang but now we have a good idea these fish like to lay in soft bottom nice sandy bottom and they like to lay on the edges of rocky bottom and that's where they feed is in the rocks so um, but we want to try to drift through the sandy bottom so we're right here on our charts it tells you exactly where the hard bottom is where the soft bottom is if I want a sea bass I get up on the hard bottom if I want a fluke I get up in the soft bottom, it's that simple. Every fish has a different bottom they like, and now we can tell uh, by laying down our own charts. Nobody else has this chart. This is mine. This is my data that I created on my boat that no one's allowed to look at. What's great about these new Hummingbird units is the new base map charts that are coming out with. The detail on these charts alone, with the contour lines, the wrecks, all your rocks, your depths, the shaded areas are way better than any other base map that I've seen in other units. Fishing up here in the Northeast is we fish contour lines. Contour lines are very important, drop-offs, humps, rocks. These base maps, compared to the other units, these are marking almost every single one. 